Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Shifts. My name is Jason, and today we're back with another Electron Level 2 charger. This is a 40 amp charger. It will, this is the uh, NAC style of connector, so this is actually the first charger that we've had that has the NAC plug on it that we can use without using an adapter with our Tesla Plaid. I uh, agreed to go with this Electron charger to test this out is because if you guys have watched some of my earlier videos, you'll know that I have the level one portable charger already. And I've used that with several different vehicles with no problems, no issues whatsoever. I know there's uh, some turmoil out there on the internet about Electron and how good it is. So I'm really interested to do a long-term test on this, but we're gonna start off with an introduction, unboxing, uh, install this sucker and use this for a short period and give you some feedback and then I'll follow up with a later video with a long-term uh, life usage of this. So again it is a 40 amp NAX. It's a 240 plug. It'll charge 9.6 kilowatts. Should, should amount to about 36 miles per hour and it's going to have a 1450 plug on it. So let's go ahead and open this box up and see what we get here. So being a portable unit, it comes in a nice carry case that has two handles. It is roughly about 11 pounds. It's got dual zipper on here. Let's move this box out of the way. Open this up with you guys. So we've got some instructions in here and warranty on here, extended warranty. You can scan that in and uh, of course the next charger and what the charger looks like here. So we'll get into that before we install it. Nice little carrying case here. It's got a pocket. You can put things in there. A couple straps to keep things secure. Comes with a wall mount so you can mount this to the wall for your portable unit. So at home you can use this mount, keep it secure and out of the way. And then of course we've got the main charging unit itself here. So again, a NEMA 1450 plug. It's got some covers on it. These look like uh, they might be a brass prong. But we'll go ahead. I've heard some things about this plug getting hot, so we're, we'll test that out in our long term. But I'm telling you guys, my uh, level one that I have from Electron has been flawless. And then you get a 16 foot cable. And the part I'm most excited about, because I've yet to have one of these at home, is the NAC style plug. So you don't have to use an adapter. So you have that unit here. You can feel a nice little button here. It's nice pressure to it. And it has a dust cover to put on the end when you're not using it. What I also like is this nice little strap here that you can strap up your cords. So it makes it more convenient to fit in the package. You also have some wall adapters for mounting your wall plate. And here's the main unit. It's got a nice little cover on here. Go ahead and peel that off. And then on the back side of the cover from Electron, it has all of your warning light meaning, meanings and uh, tells you what all the display is reading or telling you about the unit. So without haste, let's go ahead and plug this into the wall. We have a NEMA 1450 in our garage. So all we have to do is uh, figure out how we're going to mount this on the wall. It's getting a little busy out there, and we'll see how this does. Now, if you guys remember, I've done a review on the Grizzly, and I've got the IQ out there, and uh, we'll see how this fits in and how we like it. So stick around. All right, guys, so I've moved us out here to the garage, brought the unit out here with us, and as you guys know, I've done the Grizzly testing and the EV IQO which right now the EV IQO is actually my uh, go-to charger when I'm at home. But I've unplugged them from the wall and I have my shockwave mount there. And uh, I test fit this out and this actually slides in there fairly decently. So for the time being, rather than mounting another mount that I am running out of space for, I'm gonna go ahead and use that mount and we'll plug into our NEMA 1450 there. 
Before we do that, there is one other thing I wanted to mention. I think I might have forgot it in earlier, but this is a UL2250 rated certified plug, just the plug portion. And I uh, don't know if that's of value, but I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. So I'm going to go ahead and try and uh, do this with one hand for you guys. I'll probably drop things all over the place. But we'll take the unit here and we'll give it a little nudge here. Get it into that unit and let that drop in there. I'll set this to the ground for right now. And we'll take the plug. plug it into the wall and then we see the unit start coming to life we have our power is now lit up we'll go ahead and take this plug which is 16 feet and we're gonna see what I think is going to be our first flaw in this unit in that uh, how the car is parked right now I don't know that 16 feet is going to get us all the way to the back of the car so one of those things that you just got to take into account when you're mounting your NEMA 1450 plug and your chargers of where they reach, what they can make it to. All right, guys, so we're back here and doesn't quite make it to the back of the car. So you know what that means. That means musical carts time. I got to move the Bronco and then I've got to back this out and flop it around and back it in in order to use this plug. So that is a limiting factor. It is a 16 foot cord, but it doesn't quite make it in my case to the back of the Tesla. I've gone ahead and pulled out the Bronco and the TRX is still sitting pretty. And I backed in the plaid here next to the GTO. And I'm gonna go ahead and try this plug. So I hung this up over here. Go ahead and pull this down and remove the dust cover here. Press the button. Well, I guess that doesn't work. Push on the door and open it up. Go ahead and slide that in. We got a blue turning green so it looks like it connected properly. And then over on the charger here, you can see we've got our charging status going. So let's go ahead and look into the Tesla. It says we're charging 36 miles per hour, 40 amp, 237 volts. And this is already charged up, so it's only gonna have five minutes to top off here just from turning the vehicle around. So we'll go ahead. So once you're done charging, just come on back to the charger and the button is actually this symbol right here and you'll go ahead and press the button which releases it and you can pull it out and set it back away all right guys so initial impressions are good looks like it's solidly made it's got certified on that handle we plugged it in and it unplugs just fine we saw on the tesla according to the computer itself within the car that it is performing as it's stated on this box and as they promised on their website so we'll uh, keep using it and see how it holds out long term. But for today, this thing seems to be working well. And remember, I've got previous experience with Electron with their level one charger, which I've been using all year long and with other vehicles on this plaid to charge. And I have had zero issues with it. So I expect this to be the same, but we'll follow up again in a long term catch up to this video and let you guys know if it's holding up. So thanks for joining us. There'll be a link to this down in the description. Go check it out and give us a thumbs up, share this, and we'll see you guys next time.